Okay, so we just got finished setting up our methods that are required um, by Key Listener. And trust me, guys, if you don't if you don't put this stuff in, you will get spanked by Java. It, Java will come to your house, will bend you over, and will spank you over and over and over. It's really important. But if you don't remember, it's not a big deal. Because when you try to compile and you don't have the methods, it'll yell at you. So you don't, I mean, it's not vital that you remember. You'll be reminded. So um, so I'm going to explain how this works a little bit. So what happens is as our game is running, you know, we have our timer. It goes off. Tim's doing a great job every 50 milliseconds. So while our game is running, in the background, um... The computer, um, not having anything to do with us, is silently listening in the background for somebody to hit a key on the keyboard. And what happens is, when a key is detected, the uh, computer in the background is like, oh, someone pressed a key. So they package all the information about the event. Say, say I press the P key. Well, the it'll register that in, in the background uh, so it'll package up all the information about the event like if the uh, what key was pressed if control was down while you pressed it all kinds of different things and then it looks to see if it has any registered key listeners which we're going to do that in a second and any registered key listeners it will notify by calling one of these three methods. So when we register this class as a key listener, uh, the computer in the background is going to be, you know, tapping its fingers, waiting for us to hit the up key. When we hit the up key, the computer's like, "Oh, holy crap! Somebody actually pressed a button." So it's going to pack up the information that the up arrow is pressed, and all kinds of other different information we can ask about what happened and it's going to look it's going to see our game panel as a registered key listener so it's going to say oh okay cool so i should tell game panel that a key was pressed so i'm going to call my registered key listeners game panel which will register uh, so i'm going to call it its key press method and give that key event that i made with all the information about it so that's how that works it's, it's pretty cool, actually. So this, these will automatically get called when uh, when someone hits a key or releases a key. And likewise, if you let go of the up key, it'll do the same thing. So we can detect uh, when the key's released so we can stop moving, uh, which is pretty damn handy. We wouldn't want you to go off the screen now, would we? Uh, okay, so what's, what's kind of important is we have to register um, our game panel as a key listener. And JPanel uh, has a uh, method called add key listener. So um, it's very important because, like I said before, it's going to look and see what key listeners we have registered. And so it knows who to tell about the key events. So we can just do that right here. We can just say this. And remember, this isn't a game panel method. This is J panel. Add. No, oh, no, not action listener. Add key listener. And we're going to say this class is going to be our key listener. So every time a key is pressed on the keyboard, uh, it'll tell game panel that key was pressed to call one of these methods based on exactly what happened. And there's also one more thing we have to do, is we have to, another J panel method, is set focusable. Uh, bo, 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 bo. I want to set that to true. And what that does is, you know how if I have like a, let's see if I can, oh, let's see here, if I want to minimize this. And uh, so you see here, say, uh, let me minimize this too. So 
I click on the outside. Um, now, my desktop is the one now who I'm controlling the key events for. So, you probably can't see it right now, but um, actually, I can just do this. So, right now, my program is the active window. I can use the arrow keys to look through my, my thing because the game panel is an active window. If I click on the, the desktop, now TextPad is no longer the active window. Now I'm scrolling through, scrolling through all my desktop files. And what set Focusable does is it sets our game as the active window. So any keyboard or anything will be part of uh, the game and not something else. So we have to do that to make it actually right, start registering uh, or setting the keys. Uh, I hope that makes sense, kind of. Um, okay, so I'm going to compile that. That shouldn't whine or complain about anything. Oh, we have five errors. Oh, I know why. Because we didn't import. Jesus. Well, I tried to warn you guys. I tried to tell you guys to get out before this happened. All these damn imports. So, event. Key listener. Most of the standard interfaces are in java.awt.event. Let's see here. Java. Oh, this is making me hungry. And key event. Because our program doesn't know what those are until we tell it to look in the right place. Okay. So that's fine. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So how does our ball move around on the screen then? Well, it moves around with the velocities that we set, with the number of pixels it moves. Uh, but that doesn't have any input, so how does it know? I mean, it does it automatically by itself. We don't have any input. So how do we tie our input once we actually get a key, like now we have it set up so we can accept key inputs. We'll know when the key is pressed, we can see what key it was. So that's useful. But how do we get that to move the player around? Well, that's pretty easy actually. Um, but you're going to have to wait until the next episode, which I'll upload in just a few minutes. I don't want to go over my time.